Still breaking at five, a new lead in the search for Jennifer Kessie. The 24-year-old vanished in Orlando back in 2006. Her family has fought to keep this search alive. Now only on six, we've learned Orange County detectives are wrapping up a search. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Dive crews have been in the water for the past two days. News 6's Clay Lepard joins us live in Gotha, where this search is wrapping up. So, Clay, what led detectives out there? Lisa, we've learned from the Orange County Sheriff's Office that it was a tip from the Kessie family investigator that led them here and led them behind these homes to search a concentrated area on Lake Fisher. For the past two days, dive crews have been out on the water here in Gotha, searching for any clues that could help them in Jennifer Kessie's disappearance. News 6 was there Thursday as crews with the sheriff's office began their search, clearing out weeds as the Kessie family watched on. Obviously, it was a good enough tip that you see the actions of I don't know how many divers and what have you. I think we had eight divers at one time. The 24 year old went missing back in January of 2006 when she never showed up for work. You guys are doing the Walmart. As the search intensified, her car was found at a condo complex about a mile away from where she lived. The signs on the side of the road. Since then, her family and friends have not given up the search. She is our child. Ultimately, I'm responsible for finding my child. Love, period. Even today, 13 years later, posters for Jennifer Kessie are scattered all over Central Florida. We've learned investigators with the Kessie family learned a new tip that led them and Orange County investigators to this quiet lake. We're going in many different directions and we're going to cultivate those leads. And if they cultivate into something truly formative, we're going to act on them like we did today. Aerial images give us a better idea of what this neighborhood looked like in 2006 when Kessie went missing. The land had been cleared for development, but houses didn't go in until several years later. We asked the public, please stick with us. Please believe in us. Believe in Jennifer. And if you know something, and if you've called something in before that you think has not been worked, give us a call. We've put that family tip line on our website, clickorlando.com. Just to give you some perspective, this search area is about 12 miles away from where Jennifer Kessie lived. It appears that dive crews are starting to wrap up for the day. It's not clear at this point what, if anything, they found connected to this case. In Gotha, Clay Lepard, Getting Results News 6.